Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris! We are in a war because our Federation presidents, the Pelks Credonian Coalition, declared war for stuff where they're not even offering anything to anyone else, including me, who's actually close. They declared war over here, and they want to claim the systems. For themselves. Yeah, see, this Federation stuff really isn't going to work out. <laughs> really isn't going to work out for me. The Alliance... I think I like alliances, because we can vote in more members, and I have a say as to whether something will get started or not. Maybe they'll have to suck up to me to add some stuff in. But this unilateral declaration on behalf of the AI that doesn't give me anything? No. And it's going to take me forever before I'm Federation President, because I'm not the next one. Kind of cranky about that. Plus, my stuff is getting blown up, which does not make me particularly happy. So we're moving in for an engagement over here. Uh, they already took out the Starbase around Shanex too. Very disappointing. And we're moving in here. Well, I'm going to pull back a little bit, actually. Under there we go. Because my allies are going to come in. I want to save the wormhole. But I'm a little uh, worried because most of my ships are armored as opposed to shielded. Construction complete. I'm going to go engage before the wormhole station actually gets blown up. Construction my ships are armored as opposed to shielded, and these guys have armor-piercing weapons like crazy. All right, they did blow up the wormhole station, but that's okay. I do have... And then he emergency FTL'd. You shithead. I do have... I haven't right-clicked on um, the opponents. We're going to keep trying to track them down. Now, they're wormholes. So they, or they're hyperspace. They move very, 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 very quickly. We are going to have to basically catch them when they decide to actually hit one of my other stations. Second battle group is a pure cruiser here. So if I do this and then merge, you will go to the other one, which is good. And you're still hunting that down. Excellent. There's my other cruiser as well. Merge up. So I'll try to get something together. The other thing I could do is try to set some sort of trap somewhere. Hostile fleet detected. Research no, they're just bopping out. Hmm. Research done. More armor. It's not what we really need right now. I think what I'm going to do... Even higher armor. Impulse thrusters for higher speed. I'm going to research the defense station tech. We may ignore the... Oh, we actually... We already have the defense platforms. This is the second level of defensive stations. And we can use that to help catch these people in and out of warp gate locations. I have no idea where they're going. They're not stopping here. Their end phase is what, the Adenir system? Can I actually see that? Apparently, I can see their final destination. Uh, but I can't reach it right now. Of course not. So, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, I can't reach that either. I literally can't reach any of their offensive systems. Amazing. So, we're just going to group everyone up over here. And I'm actually going to grab one of these construction ships right now. You're going to build a wormhole station here. Right on the front. And then we're just going to invade their territory. Easy solution. Trade deal. You want research agreements? Sure. Unemployed robot. That's not what we want to see. Anomaly found. Sure, research the anomaly. And... We've got lots of minerals, good. So here, let's get a mineral processing plant. You... I don't really care about mineral silos. Like, if you ever hit that cap, it means you're doing something wrong. Spend your goddamn resources. I could just clear some blockers here. That might be best. I think all these empty tiles are actually going to be science buildings, mostly. On Charlesy, and then what we'll do is we'll make sure we've got an observation station and everything in the spaceport. I kind of like that. So get started on a science station, and then clear that blocker, and then we'll get back to you. Idle science ship over here. Oh, and we really need to get a freaking outpost station. So okay. Oh, which is what you're doing now. Okay, excellent. Yeah, finish that, then rebuild the warp gate in Charles E. That's going to be fine. Science ship over here. I did see another system. That's being surveyed over there. 
We need a warp gate before we can reach that one. Fleet detected. We can't enter here. Or we can. Oh, it's actually my territory. Now, there's a glitch where these name panels will turn red even if it's not an enemy system. Don't know what that is. It's something to do with frontier stations or something like that. Very bizarre. We're currently losing money. Ooh, that's uh, not great. Especially since we're so low. Any energy stations I can upgrade? Like you. And you don't actually have one. Alien murals were found. Ah, oh, we can do a special project for it. Sure, go ahead. Is this my science ship? I guess it has left already. Hello. There you go. Research project. And then you can go back to surveying the system. Hmm. May as well upgrade you. We oh, oh, to the planetary administration. Yes, absolutely. All right. So, more wars. The Serene Cat Empire is getting some work done somewhere. Where are you? You were up here, weren't you? Serene Cat Empire. One of my my personal nations. Comet sided. It's a good omen. Gain some more influence, which is great, since right now we are still just spending influence to do the integration of our subject over here. Battle fleet. Uh, excellent. And you are currently building a wormhole station. And as soon as that happens, we jump on the home thing. Of course this war declaration would happen after I've dismantled my freaking ground troops. But that's okay. I'm not going to bother building ground troops. I will just blow up stuff, generate a little bit of war score, make sure these guys don't have a fleet that comes after me, is my biggest concern. And, wow, 14 minerals in the system. Holy crap. And that's it, because I can't negotiate anything myself. Only the, um, only the Federation, only war. The main attacker or defender can send peace deals. So, I'll generate a positive war score and then mostly just, like, sit back. There's no reason for me to lose anything at all, if possible. As far as I know, the only thing we've lost so far is a single wormhole station, and that's it. That's not too shabby. But yeah, I feel like the war stuff, I think we'll need another pass. I love um, naming the war goals at the start of the war, but I think that potentially... It hoses the secondary participants too much, or, or something. I'd also like to be able to maybe add war goals as the war goes on. That's a possibility. I mean, maybe not take them away, but add them if you've never gone up to 100. So you can sort of declare, like, a minimal amount and then add more. That's sort of the Victoria 2 style. I'd like something. I'm not sure what the solution is. I'm fine with personal war. These, these allied and federation wars, though. It's very frustrating as a secondary participant, but that's, I mean, I guess that's the whole thing with the federation. You're not really, you're supposed to be acting as one, and as long as I think properly xenophile, pacifist, I really should be thinking of us as just one big group, so the more that we go or grow as a group, the better. So, as long as the cruds over here are not big jerk faces, it won't be too bothersome. Okay, battle group, move in on their capital, and we're just gonna blow up all their stuff. There we go. Why chase them down? They're hyperspace. It's too annoying. Sure, we'll trade some star shards. Um, it's too, it's way too annoying to just chase them down. So instead, we're just going to go to the system and blow their stuff up. You are idle because of that. Excellent. I still want a warp gate in the in all my habitated systems, basically. So Shanix will do that. We are engaged over here. Situation updated. What's with the, the glow there? Yeah, we're getting trounced because of their armor piercing. Thank you, experience engineering XP. So I will, I will have to pop out. Yeah, the fact that they ignore armor is just too brutal, which is kind of sort of as expected. We do have the uh, other allied fleet over here. We may end up generating some negative uh, war score. Yeah, they they popped out as well. All right, go and uh, repair. Actually, go somewhere where you can upgrade. Thank you. Oh, that's right. We also lost our um, starbase in Shanix, which I probably want to rebuild. They might just come and blow it up again, though. 
but I think it's worth rebuilding. And we might just want a much, much, much bigger fleet. Back to resources. That's fine. So anything we build is going to be our shielded version, which is nice. We don't have like a level 2 shields coming up soon, do we? No, that's a shame. I think we do have to build some more cruisers, though. And why don't you... Hmm. Well, you can't even build destroyers here, so let's at least go up to level 3. Random governor just dies. Awesome! Master Indie Sector, we're going to get a recruit. Um, do we need to save our influence or something? You know what? I don't want to hit zero influence because it'll screw up our integration. More habitability. Hooray. Regenerative hull tissue doesn't help us in combat. Ah, selected lineage! Leader enhancement, selected lineages. Plus one leader skill levels. Plus 25 leader leadership. Or leader lifespan. Um, this is a policy we activate. It's huge. Makes our leaders more expensive, but it makes them a lot better. And we can presumably just turn this on before we want to. And before we're going to hire someone. And it's a rare, so we'll grab it. And I think it leads to some cool stuff afterwards. So we're going to hold off on that. That construction ship, you finished the warp gate. Excellent. I'm going to move you back from the front. Because I don't want you being blown up. And we're not going to rebuild the stations here right now. Since they might just get blown up as well. So we're just going to pull away from there. These are going to be some good territory to improve as well, actually. And our science ships can go and pick up that debris at some point, but we don't have to rush it. As long as they're busy, that's okay. So we did lose, like, a destroyer or something like that. Actually, I think it could have been our allies losing the destroyers. It's possible I was misreading that, and we didn't actually take too much damage. Well, good. The allies deserve to get hurt. <laughs> All right. That's our most forward base. It would be nice to assemble at Shanex. Prime Minister's reign has come to an end. Election campaign promises unfulfilled. We didn't actually build the um, the research stations, really. Well, I guess we've been too busy doing other things. So yeah, wait till you finish upgrading this time. That will be an improvement. I figured we could pop in and bop stuff. Minus nine. That is a big deficit. I do have a sector told to be financial. Any other one here? Um, oh, give me... Construction complete. Whoops, don't manage sector. That's not what I want to do. Uh, give me 75% income at this point. Thank you very much. System survey complete. And right, you don't have the leader. Do I want to allow you to redevelop tiles? Are your planets getting filled up? Not yet. I'm going to wait till the planets fill up, and then I'll, I'll let you redevelop things to maybe match things better. But for now, there's not that much to do. All right, science ship. Done over here. I think I want to pick up that debris. It's probably not very exciting, but do it anyway. And construction ship. Where are you located right now? Oh, in Shanex. No, we're going to get you to move away from there. Um... Off to there. Then you're going to come down here, build all the mining stations. Okay. And I'm using, I'm explicitly using all my own warp stations here just to make sure that there's no weirdness uh, as we've seen before. You are actually moving. Yep. You are doing things. You are actually moving. And you are doing things as well. All right. Prime Minister has died. Oh, that's the Prime Minister of my freaking capital. I guess, yeah, we're just hitting that phase in the game where everyone's coming of age. Most... No, I've got this governor. Oh, I see. It was our actual prime minister who died. That's why we didn't have enough time to do everything. Okay. All right. He didn't just get de-elected. He just died early. Fair enough. Science ship over here. We've got a system Situation survey there. Updated. Construction All right. What's complete. your mandate? You would like... Construction mining stations. Complete. Yeah, again, that will probably happen. You finish your construction queue... We can afford another cruiser. Cruiser's not that expensive. When I finally got around to building cruisers in the 4-4 Empire Not Found multiplayer game, they were well over 600, but we just don't have that kind of technology right now. And I think I only want to build cruisers if I can, so that's going to be okay. Uh, I definitely want more of these modules. Now, Sudbury... Actually, I think Charlesy is going to become a big science output right now. But it's not yet. But Sudbury is. 
I think... Oh, we already have the um, observatory. That's okay. Charles, do I want to pre-build the, uh, the observatory? Since you are going to be a big science place? I'm not wrong about that, right? Yeah, because I'm going to build science buildings in all these empty places. I'm going to specialize Charles E to be a science place. So, yeah. Get the observatory up and running. I'm going to be happy about that. No movement from the enemy fleet in some time. They're probably just defending their system, but we'll see how it goes. We need to clear some more tile blockers, but that takes a lot of energy, which we can't do. But I can upgrade this power plant, at least, to help with that problem. I think we've already sent someone over here. I felt like there's another system somewhere inside our borders that I was like, oh, oh, the Howling Vortex. Right, technically within my vassal's borders, but probably worth checking out. Assuming we're going to correctly use this enemy system, or this enemy system, this allied system to, to Wormhole. We'll see how it goes. Construction ship over here. Uh, what was it? Was it mining stations? Yeah, miner mandate. So I'll actually prioritize in getting the mining stations up. Because, I mean, it's something I want to do anyway, but I may as well get the bonus influence ASAP. Plus, that's more energy, so that's good. We have increased our ship maintenance, but it's mostly the stations, and mostly they're going to be mining and research stations where our income is coming from, or our expenses are going to, I should say. And I do this. You will merge to the other battle group, which is almost there. And we'll actually have more shields and be in a much, much better position to fight the enemy troops. Scientist gains a level. Lovely. Oh, I was going to say, we've got to check to see. We definitely need to recruit another scientist. Do we have anyone... We might just go for the lifespan, especially since we already have the fields. I mean, not only does that let your scientist actually reach level 5 and keep him around for longer, it effectively decreases the amount of influence you have to pay for stuff. Which is nice. But yeah, this, uh, this deficit is quite poor. Maybe I could trade. You, Federation Leader. Would you be interested in giving me... Oops. All this is at zero? Seriously? Oh, these are instant transfers. That's why. You're not willing to do any. No, you probably don't have any money. Instant transfer. So I'll give you 121 minerals in, state in exchange for 101 credits. We're going to start with that. Okay, good. And we've got some other buddies kicking around. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, you can go above 200? What? Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Let's, we could recall the embassy. No, we'll keep the embassy there. That's fine. Energy credits. Yeah, not interested in that. But an instant transfer you're not completely opposed to. So we'll do the same thing. There we go. So yeah, we're trading away slightly more minerals, but that's all right. Our minerals go down right away, and then as soon as they accept, our energy will go up. More debris analysis, and then we have an idle science ship. In Gleddy. And we do need to get another warp station over here so we can check some stuff out. Wormhole station. Now, I don't believe we have the assist research tech, which is too bad. We do have some debris we'll have to analyze. Actually, there's some over here. So we may as well do that now. Where are you going? Just chilling? Following my second battle group. Well, there's not much to follow yet, but we'll wait until the upgrades are done, and then we're going to go to town. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, what do we have over here? Ooh, these giant chasmal hordes. Defending the Howling Vortex. We want to clear that out. Most likely, the uh, Howling Vortex is going to be worth a lot of science. Uh, defense station tech, done. Lovely. Nuclear missiles, we could diversify our weaponry a little bit. Oh, fortress tech! Construction complete. Holy crap. So this is the level 3, and I believe the biggest defensive stations you can build. They're apparently really tough.
F it, let's do it. I love the idea. Especially if we're taking a slightly more defensive footing. And especially if we're worried about these freaking um, hyperspace races. And one of the things we can do at some point, we'll get the tech to reveal hyperlanes, and we can build the defensive stations at choke points from those hyperlanes. And that will be really good. Uh, oh, all the upgrading is done. Excellent. We're going to get everyone to move to this system here. And then you guys can merge up once you arrive. And our allies should follow. And then we're going to have a battle fleet of about, what, 2,400 or so? Now, they may have built some more ships as well, although I suspect... Oh, equivalent. Fleet power is equivalent. Their technology is less, but they've been countering our stuff well. We need level 2 shields to really counter them properly. But... I can't really sit around and build a too large of a fleet because I don't really have the energy for it. So I think we're going to have to go with what we've got. Luckily, our allies will still come with us. We do have an admiral, right? Yeah, what do you have? Oh, yeah, you're just the cheaper admiral. Woo. Well, I mean, honestly, right now, that's not the worst, though, because we don't actually have the energy. All right. Um, where's our capital? Right over here. Sign ship. Can you assist research? Probably not. No. I'll just get you to enter orbit for now. Maybe we'll do some upgrades. Maybe we'll do something else. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that assist research ability. I think I'd, I'd misread it uh, in my um, in previously or, complete. you know, forgot about it. I thought it was just a flat add 5% research, which is like, oh, that's okay, but not necessarily worth it. But it's 5% per leader of the scientist on the ship. So you can actually add plus 25% research if you've got a level 5 dude in a science ship that's in orbit around a planet. So I will like that technology once we get there. All right, let's do another pass here, particularly for energy. There we go, like that. Upgrade you. Um... Even though, oh, minor mandate fulfilled, excellent. Yeah, go ahead and just build me another power plant there. That's going to be fine. Upgrade. Uh, it doesn't cost any more money for the level 2. Actually, I think they might be 1.5 credits as opposed to 1, so it is slightly more expensive to go to level 2. You are unemployed. We do need to clear this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Take some of our energy, but I think it's a good investment. And then build a power plant over there. Actually, I should have queued them up in an opposite order. I still could, I suppose. You, um, cancel that. So you'll start building this power plant first, and then you'll clear that. Okay, good. Alright, fleet. Not quite assembled. It's a lot of jumps to get to the front. At least our biggest one has the Admiral that makes things cheaper. That's nice. Debris Although, analyzed. okay, let's take a look here. Our ship maintenance is currently 24.23. It says that we have an, uh, uh, an Admiral there. But let's assign it. 24.23? Click again. So now it's... Maybe it always says that when I click there. Oh, maybe that's it. I'm just getting confused about the AI, the UI. All right. Fair enough. You guys merge up, which actually should save us some money now that you're combined. And it does! Okay, and my allied fleet is nearby. No, I don't know where they are. Following first battle group. Presumably my first battle group? Oh, you're sitting at your wormhole station. Okay. Alright, we're gonna pop into this system. I won't go to aggressive, I'm gonna go to passive, and we'll pick and choose our encounters a little bit more carefully. The Yeti and Confederated Systems! That's one of my other people! Declared war on the Yerelan Star Administration. Apparently, everyone I make, even if I'm not running them, are aggressive. Go figure. And we're gonna bop in. So we're at 2.5k. They still have their 1k army there. I'm gonna, in an interest, in the interest of, like, delaying until my allies show up, I'm just gonna go bop off some mining stations. What you gonna do about it? Because I would like to draw them away from their star base. They may not leave though. It looks like they're turtling up pretty hard. We'll see how it goes. It'd be nice if we could get the level four skill. Because there's even more ship upkeep reduction from the skill, but more importantly, the increased fire rate, which is really helpful. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, it's not much of an engagement. So, where's my friendly? You are literally still just sitting there. 
Also, I have an idle science ship over here. I'm going to move my friendly, my, my, my science ship to one of my own systems over here. An idle construction ship. Is that one planet with both sciences on it? It is. Okay. So that's worth constructing. Since we're here. That does take extra money, though. I maybe should just prioritize going around getting all the, um... Uh, getting all the energy bits. Well, those are transports. Interesting. So, are my allies still not moving up? God damn it. You start the war, and then you just don't do anything. Alright, let's go. They still have all the armor piercing. We have a fair amount of armor, but we do have shields on all our ships now. And I don't remember. For all I know, we didn't have the same weapons last time. I mean, we do have a lot more, just raw firepower. And they're mostly... There are a lot of Corvettes. And some destroyers, no cruisers. It means as, as we do damage to them, their DPS is going to consistently drop down. As a result of... Um... Oh, did I... Is there a chance? Probably. Okay, you have a defensive computer. The Corvettes are still in their basic computers. That was a mistake. But actually, I'm not... Do I even have Corvettes? No, I don't, so that's a moot point. Okay, good. And I know my cruisers have the offensive build. I think they're actually engaging this stuff first. Yeah. Which is a bit distracting. So actually, I will clear out this whole area so this, these uh, mining stations don't randomly soak damage during the fight. Because that would be not good. Oh, I think we just engaged the second mining station is what happened there. Situation log updated. So how's our science coming along? We almost have our UV lasers, jeez. Well, if it looks like this isn't going to go well, obviously I'll retreat again, that'll be fine. And then we'll just upgrade our ships to the blue laser variant. And still not better shields, apparently. Everything is fine, shields are up. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. So they have shields, and we don't pierce shields. Our destroyer is taking a lot of damage up front. Damage to hull, some damage to shields. And then, yeah, we're not taking any damage to armor because it's ignoring armor, mostly. It's just they have, a, I don't know, a couple of, like, nuclear missiles or something, right? Lasers. They have some lasers and some uh, nuclear missiles in there, but most of it is the plasma throwers going directly to the hull. And, yeah, we're going we're gonna to lose that again. Yeah, let's go before we uh, Situation log updated. lose too much. That that armor piercing is just too brutal. At least it's not really costing us war score. So at least there's that. Uh, you return to. Can I not Hostile give you commands because you're still detected. on escape mode? Fleet detected. Yeah, and then my allies show up, but far too late. Where are you going? Oh, I have a star base here. Right, this is one of the ones in my. Uh, in oh, it's no, no, it's my my vassal star base, but I'm still able to do that. I don't think I'll be able to upgrade here though. Shanex, did I rebuild the star base? I did. So actually, I would much rather you guys go there, and this spaceport, we will upgrade to level two, so we might be able to build some more frontline things. I think they can upgrade anywhere, regardless of year. So that's good to see. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. That tech differential. We just we just need shields. Um, and then, I don't remember actually, that's a question that I shouldn't have dismissed so quickly. What kind of defensive tech do they have? And do I want to tune my offensive capabilities based on that? Well, we don't really have much in the way of choices. Like, we could ignore shields with space torpedoes. But the problem is Unless we want 100% space torpedoes, the other weapons we have don't ignore shields. So, yeah. I don't know. We could go exclusively space torpedoes. What's your base DPS? 5 per second versus 4 per second. And that's 100% ignoring of shields. Now, this can be shot down by point defense. 
You know, I really should have taken a closer look at their, their ships in that battle. I don't like think that's point defense. We could switch over to space torpedoes. Mostly we just need some goddamn shield technology, which will be over here in physics. We'll take a look at what happens with the physics thing. All right, this will be the next level of lasers as well, which probably has higher DPS. Yeah, almost the same. Wow, torpedoes really do do a lot of damage. <clears throat> hmm. Well, we'll see. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.